So there's over 6,000 kilometers of sewer pipes and tunnels that can be found in Toronto's underbelly. Well, I'm on my way to meet up with Jeremy Kai. He's a 24-year-old photographer who's made it his mission to explore and photograph them. So everyone has hobbies and interests. Uh, yours specifically is photography and Toronto's underground. Can you talk a little bit about uh, why that interests you? In, in a city like Toronto that's built on a, a major water system like Lake Ontario, mm -hmm. uh, there's going to be a, a, a network of, of rivers that branch off from the lake. Uh, surprisingly, there used to be a bunch uh, in the downtown core that no one really is aware about because uh, they've, they've been buried in starting in the late 1800s. Kind of this, these urban mysteries and things kind of mm -hmm. interest me. How long have you been doing this for? I've been doing it for about five years. I started exploring like abandoned buildings and kind of this off-limits areas of, of active places. Once you know uh, forgotten parts of Toronto's history, I think you can appreciate the city more. Often calling themselves drainers, sewer explorers around the world share photos and tips through online forums. And while some are thrill seekers risking arrest, Jeremy says his interest lies in Toronto's forgotten history. I guess it's not the most common hobbies. Um, but I, I think it just, it just roots from this really yeah. deep curiosity and appreciation I have for uh, how cities are built and how it functions. Why, why don't we check out one of the places? Let's go. Let's do it. This storm drain was built with the anticipation of the Spadina Expressway being constructed. So it was, it was built to drain off you know, large surface areas of, of conquer or of asphalt. The, the expressway was never built, but the storm drain was actually was built. It's taking in water from all the way up to, up to Eglinton, all the way down here. Yeah, inside here is the last place you want to be during a rainstorm, because uh, yeah, death is imminent. <laughs> all right, so where are we heading off to now? Check out, we can actually view inside the storm drain we had viewed previously. Well, this is a, what's basically an overflow grate uh, for the storm drain inside here. When, that, when it rains a lot and this pipe fills up, and it's able to get relieved slightly. If you happen to get caught down here during a rainstorm inside here, it's not going to end well. Using one word to sum up Toronto's underground, what would it be? More extensive than I thought. <laughs> That's more than one word, but we'll take it. <laughs>